Hi friends, it's sweater season. Don't you love it? I love a good sweater in the, in the summer. In the summer, <laughs> no. I have been putting this off. I don't know why, because I don't like looking up the recipe, but I figured I will be more motivated by making a video and sharing this pest control spray that I've been making for the past year, and it's done really well for me. And so I thought I make it, force myself to make it, and share it with you. So here we go. First thing you need is a water bottle sprayer. So when you're working with this material, you know, it's toxic, so make sure to protect yourself. And I know I'm doing this in my kitchen, not great. I wish I had another sink to do all this in. One day, one day, maybe. All right, so it still has a little bit from last time, so I'm just gonna dump it all out so you guys can see what it is like to start from scratch. Just gonna rinse this out. You guys don't spend that much time in my kitchen because it's very small. And we're trying to see how to film in here better because I'm hoping to do some cooking or I do cook in here. It's just, I don't share it with you guys. So hopefully we can get that done. Okay. Now, basically what you really want to know is what is the volume of this bottle so that you know how much liquid it can hold. And from my experience, this is about 16 ounces. It's probably more like 14. So we'll just go with that. So what I like to do is use hot water. And that's mainly because I'm using horticultural oil. And because it's oil-based, the hot water will just help mix the solution better. So hot water it is. Use my little kettle. This is going to be very loud and obnoxious, so let's go somewhere else <laughs> while that's going. So yeah, I've been thinking about, yeah, potentially sharing some of my mom's cooking or home cooking that I am used to growing up eating. And I make it here now that I'm all the way in Seattle and it just makes me a lot more nostalgic, I guess, about food or home cooking, and I miss my mom's home cook cooking so much. And so, yeah, I would like to potentially do that. Let me know if you guys would be interested in, I guess, learning about how to make some homemade Chinese American food, because it's not like straight up Chinese food. And home cooking is very different from cooking that you get from say a restaurant. And yeah, it's food that I miss very much and I eat it often. The water has boiled, so I'm gonna put two cups in here. Fill this baby up or not, because we ran out. <laughs> That's all right. So while this is nuclear, we're going to put some castile soap in it. So it's supposed to be seven milliliters, but this is a teaspoon, so it has five milliliters, so it's basically this entire spoon and, and some. It doesn't have to be exact. I just want the soap to help break down the oil to make it like a nice consistent spray. So it doesn't glob up. You'll see what I mean because um, just this, this particular horticultural is just very globby. It's very thick. Okay. Uh, let's open this. Or actually, I'm gonna put my gloves on. So it is super hot, and the bottle will get super hot when you pour it in. That's just how it goes, or so just be careful. And like I said before, two cups is probably a little much for this. So just do it over the sink, and if it pours over, it's not a big deal, because it's just so. And all the bubbles are coming out. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. Yeah, too much. For sure. 
So just tilt some of it out because when you put this in, it's gonna occupy some space. All right, instead of measuring the horticultural oil, because it's made for like really large volumes, I have found that using a little bit goes a long way. And if you use too much, your plants actually get burned and damaged from it. So don't do that. <laughs> what I have found is using this, I used to use a chopstick, but then I was like, why don't you use a chopstick? I just use this thing that goes right into the sprayer. So I just dip it in and I take it out. And see, you see how gloppy and thick it is? And this way I don't have to wash or contaminate anything. And do it in the sink because it will spill out a bit. Sometimes overflow. So I shake it up and make sure to let it cool down before you use it. Okay, it's locked. Yeah, because it will burn the plants. It has happened to me before. And that is it. That is how I make the spray. I have mentioned historically in my other videos that this horticultural oil is super toxic. I bought it by accident, thinking that it be, you know, good. But after I read thoroughly, it is just very ha hazardous. So I don't recommend this brand. I would try something else. Dormant oil is also very similar. Some people have used baby oil. It's basically just the idea of using oil to suffocate the pests but because i still have this i am still using it until it's gone it's it's just a massive bottle but typically i also use castile soap over dawn i don't think dawn soap is as safe as castile soap and it also this one is unscented if i had known this before i would have bought uh, the tea tree oil because that's also a natural you know killer so that's, you know, when this runs out finally, it's a big bottle. But there you have it, you know, time for some winter maintenance. And I hope this video was helpful. It obviously encouraged me to make this spray. So thank you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Happy growing.